of rows for proper pollination. Hey y'all, I'm Amy. Welcome back to Misty Dawn Farm. Today we are starting in the house. I just picked up my Azure Standard order and I wanted to do an unboxing with y'all and show y'all what I got this time. So the first thing that I got was this, a 25 pound bag of cane sugar, organic cane sugar. I also got a 25 pound bag of organic all purpose flour. Y'all, it's upside down because when I went to pick it up, I accidentally opened the corner of it. So it's upside down, but those were the bags I got. All right, now I'm gonna open my boxes. So, let's see. I don't even remember everything that I ordered, y'all. I do know that a couple of things were out of stock. So I don't have everything that I ordered. Oh yeah. If you've been here and watched one before, I've told you that I order some organic cereals for the kids just as a treat. They get it the one order a month and I order just a couple boxes. These are the two that I got this time. And so, I actually like this one. I'm not a big cereal eater, but I like them. And when you order it, they come in a box of three. So there's three of that kind, and there's gonna be three of the other kind. baking soda. So I got baking soda and I got some small elbows. This, they hadn't carried the small ones before, but then now they do. The kids love macaroni and cheese and I do a homemade macaroni and cheese and um, I was using the big elbows. Now they have small, so we're going to go with that. Oh, I ordered some, okay. I cheated a little bit this time, y'all. I ordered an organic peel, where's the bread? Organic peeled garlic. Yeah, I ordered it already peeled. You see them in there? They come in little packets. So what I do is, first of all, I have not had success at growing garlic. It is so wet here. It just stays wet. So I order garlic and I order organic garlic and we love garlic. We put garlic in everything. And also I make a garlic cloves in honey where you let it sit for like six weeks, burping it every day. And then you have like a medicinal stuff. So that's what I ordered this for. And I have a lot of honey from the honey harvest I just did. So I was gonna make up several jars of this. And I was like, you know what? It's a busy time of year. I don't have time for this. So I ordered the peeled kind. So let's see. We got three of those. Um, normally I get the Azure brand of ketchup because Levi is sensitive to uh, artificial preservatives and ingredients and things. So I use, I ordered the Azure brand and that was one of the things that was out of stock. But I saw this brand and so I decided to get this. It says that our ketchup is organic and sweetened with agave syrup. With a taste so delicious, you will want to use the entire bottle. So it's got organic tomato puree, organic agave nectar, organic vinegar, salt, organic spices, and organic onion powder. So, I got two of these because Levi likes ketchup on his scrambled eggs almost daily. All right, I've also been, okay. I know I can make my own, but y'all, for the sake of convenience, I buy this kind of mayo on organic classic mayo with 100% pure avocado oil. Is it organic? Is it organic? I don't know. 
Let's see. It doesn't say organic. It just says avocado oil, filtered water, egg yolks, whole eggs, distilled white vinegar, mustard, which is distilled vinegar, water, mustard seed, salt and spices, salt and rosemary extract. And oh, hey, the majority of those ingredients are organic. So the kids like this. And at some point I am going to make my own mayonnaise. I saw a recipe by one of my favorite content creators, which is Jessica Sowards. She has her, her, the farmer's table. It's a new YouTube channel that she started. She was Roots and Refuge. She still does that, but she has a kitchen based channel now. And she did mayonnaise and she did ranch, a couple of different videos. Um, and I, it's so easy. It's so easy. I, I just should do it. I'd already ordered this when I saw her video about the mayonnaise and I was like, you know what? That was like the push. I needed to try it. Just, I don't know why I haven't yet. I just haven't, but I got these and when I'm out of these or close to out of these, I'm going to try making them. I am going to do it. Okay. And then, and then, okay. See how they put like stuff in between to keep things from like bumping around and breaking. Um, I ordered some cans of diced tomatoes just to have on hand. Uh, I think if y'all were around, you remember I told you that last year I didn't get hardly any tomato products to can. So I've been having to buy all my own stuff or buy my stuff instead of making my own stuff because I didn't have tomatoes that grew. And I only had a few jars worth and I used it up. So I bought a few cans of that and then I get this kind of shampoo. It's a fragrance free, free of all kinds of stuff, including fragrance shampoo. I get two of those and I use the same conditioner, fragrance free, and then free of all the things, all the things. It's free of this stuff. Plus I use the Azure Clean uh, dish soap. I usually try to steer free of fragrances because the majority of the fragrances are not going to be real. Um, but there's a few things I like pretty small and stuff. And so this one, it says that any fragrances used are ISO 9235 and 16128 certified natural essential oils, isolates, and extracts from plants. So. You know, it smells pretty. I like it. There's a couple things that I didn't get this time. Um, I ordered the mustard, the organic Azure mustard. That was out of stock, so that didn't come. And a couple of things that I usually order is cheeses, but I didn't get those this time. I still have some in the freezer. Now we're gonna go outside and it is the day that the three little boys need to be banded. So, I'm gonna take y'all with me and I'll show you how I do that. Whoa. The bias. Oh, Toby. Hi. Goodness. Are you stuck? No, you're not stuck. Hi. Hi. That was hard to get on. These are um, small ones that I'm using for the goats. This is a bander castration tool. And are you backed up far enough to see? When you squeeze it, it stretches it out. Okay, and then you can slip it over. Now, this one is an old one. I can't find my new one. This is the old one. And these don't come all, they don't all go together. But it'll work. We're going to make it work because we can't find the new one. I'm going to put them in. <clears throat> 
falls up in it, how do you come far away? So, make sure you got both down in it. You don't want to pinch their little udders and just like that. Okay, we're about to do this one, but I just wanted to tell y'all that I'm just doing the two, just s'more and boom boom. Uh, Rocky Road is going to stay intact. He's going to be their buck. They're all going to the same place. So what I'm doing is banding them and you also want to give them uh, some pain medication. A shot of banamine is a good idea. And then I'm going to be separating them from everybody else for about 24 hours. I'm going to go put them in a stall over there by themselves away from everybody else. And that is because just Behringer and Caspian here are still really young. And in case these boys decide to fuss about it for a little while, I don't want it to upset the dogs and cause any issues. So I'm gonna just go ahead and, and put them over in a stall for a little while, just to be safe. Oh boys! I went ahead and put all three of them in this uh, chicken coop area where Pickles and her eggs are in there. This is where they were originally, where they would spend the nights. And I decided to go ahead and keep all three of them together. Less stress on the boys because they're used to being together. Um, goat, they're shedding. I got goat hairs in my mouth. <laughs> um, I'm going to go get them some pain medicine. They've got some feed and hay and water. And then after I do that, I'm going to go out to the garden because y'all, we have got rain for a couple of, for a couple of days. So I'm going to go ahead and get the corn in the ground. Okay, I'm going to try to hold my hand here so that the wind noise isn't too bad while I tell you what I'm doing real quick. Um, we're going to plant some sweet corn now. I'm going to do Silver Queen sweet corn. And I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. I have a an actual planter that you push along and it buries and covers and does it as a hand planter, but it puts too many seeds too close together in my opinion. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. I mean the kids, I'm going to go along, I'm going to flatten the rows a little bit, then I'm going to poke holes and I'm going to, we're going to drop the seeds and cover them up and do it the old fashioned way. So I'm going to time lapse it. Um, but I just was going to tell y'all first that you want your corn for proper development in the ears. You want them about nine inches apart, the, the plants. And instead of going back and thinning it out later, because y'all have a lot going on. I don't have time for that. I'm just going to go ahead and plant it spaced how I want it to be and hope most of them come up, which for me, germination rate is really high. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, and you want to plant it fairly close together. You don't want to do like one long row. You want it in like a block of rows for proper pollination. So ideally no less than four rows. I'm going to do five rows and I'm not sure how long of rows I'm going to do yet, but we're going to do this and you'll see. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Until next time, keep on the sunny side.